Hello everyone. Um, today is one of those days where we have to stay indoors because Storm Eunice is coming and to be honest we thought we would be badly hit but it's just been a bit windy so far. There is snow on the mountains. It's not really a day for working outdoors so I did um, I had sown some onions and potatoes a couple of days ago so at least they are in the ground and I have potted on some tomatoes in the greenhouse because um, it was one way of working in the garden but not being outside in the elements and the earth is actually very sodden we've got big pools of water around some of our beds and so the soil is just going to be too damp and heavy to do any work with. So I planted, potted up some tomato seedlings and I feel really creative. It must be the wind or something, it's energizing me. So I'm feeling really creative and I thought I'm going to make some um, body care products. So today I'm just going to show you how to make a salve or a balm. It's interchangeable whether you call it a salve or a balm. And what I'm using is some birch leaf oil. I infuse the birch leaf into the oil. I've strained off what I need for this recipe and um, it's a simple fact of melting this with some beeswax and then just pouring it into a little tin. So that's measured out. I'm going to now weigh out some beeswax. Just pour that oil into the pan. This is just going to make a couple of little um, tins. Sort of size you can put in a bag or a pocket to, to bring with you. And the point of this is, sorry, I didn't tell you, birch oil or birch infused oil, whether you use leaves or sticks or a combination, is extremely beneficial for the skin, particularly if you have any inflammatory conditions like eczema or inflammation. And it's also a lovely, um, you know, in the springtime, birch is great for cleansing the body. So um, because our skin takes in 60% of what you apply to it topically, it's going to help with that cleansing process and in, as a result of that, it's going to relieve rheumatic and arthritic aches and pains and muscular aches and pains. So it's beneficial for those reasons, but it's also going to help with wound healing as well. So if you're out and about and you end up with a wound or you end up with a twisted knee or some kind of ache, you can liberally apply this salve and it will sort you out. So anyway, while I'm just waiting for that to melt down, I, it just occurred to me that here in Ireland, we are given, when there's a storm approaching, approaching we're given um, wind uh, colour warnings, like a yellow warning or an orange or a red. And um, it just makes me laugh because years ago, we observed the weather and we decided whether or not it was safe to go out. And... Um, now we need to be told, oh, it's a yellow wind warning, so be careful. Or it's an orange wind warning, so be extra careful. It's red, so don't go out. And it's part of the dumbing down, I think, of society. And it reminded me of a kind of a bad taste joke from years and years ago when there were a lot of those funny little jokes going around, um, blonde bimbo jokes. And one of them, which took, actually, I was a brunette at the time, it took me a while to get, it was about a, a blonde woman was found dead in a phone box. And um, when they found her, she had taken out her ear headphone set to use the telephone and she dropped dead. And what she'd have been listening to was a repetition of breathe in, breathe out. Are we going to end up where we all need something like that to be able to put a foot out of bed? It's getting ridiculous, this this what I would call a nanny state it's really unnecessary for adults to be told how bad a storm is we can see it and hear it and feel it okay so that is nicely melted I have a few tiny little bits of leaf in here but to me I quite like that because it's kind of a rustic effect and obviously it's not going to be of any harm so I have some little kind of lip balm size tins here. So I'm pouring it into these little tins. Looks like I've got too much stuff here. So I'm gonna put this in a larger tin, which I have here.
So here I have some black spruce essential oil, just because it's a tree oil and I don't have birch. So I'm just putting a few drops into each little tin. It smells really good. So this is again, it's a really warming, lovely oil for rheumatic and arthritic complaints and muscular pain. It's also absolutely amazing for uh, clearing head colds and the sinuses. But another thing it does is it lifts any feelings of melancholy and misery. So it's a wonderful remedy for a winter or going into spring um, remedy. A lot of people are going out foraging now for spring herbs that are coming up and food plants. So it is, as I said, a lovely little thing to carry with you in case of any accidents or emergencies or any stiffness. So I'm just going to let those cool. And now I'm going to make, oh my goodness, I'm just in such a creative mood. Now I'm going to make some bath melts. They're just a beautiful shea butter, coconut butter, um, bar so you can either pop it in the bath and have a really luxurious um, moisturizing bath or you can just literally rub them over your body and moisturize in that way So I know there are lots of other um, gardeners out there and we're out, we are out there in all weathers putting in, uh, like I said, I'm delighted we've got some of the potatoes in, but there's a lot more and there's loads and loads more onions that I'm intending to put in. So that's only a part, partly done outside. Um, I'm waiting for the cucumbers to emerge because I sowed those at the same time as the tomato. So hopefully things will begin to pick up once this storm dies down again. Um, but as I said, for today, I'm being very creative in the house and now I'm going to make some bath melts. These are things to just pop into the bath and they create a really beautiful, luxuriously moisturizing bath, which when you've been outside in the weather, especially the wind, it's really nice and soothing. So let's see what I've got. I need 35 grams of this. So there's 36. That's not worth haggling over. Um, that's cocoa butter. I'll put all the recipes in the box below with all the other information. Then I've got some shea butter here and I'm looking for 70 grams of shea butter. I'm just going to pop these into the pan and let that all melt together. So to make these bars even more luxurious, I've got some dried rose petals here. I'm just going to grind them up a little bit because they're, they're a bit large. And they're just to make these bars more fun, really. Let's see. Alternatively, 
to grinding in with a pestle and mortar you could put them into a coffee grinder and um, turn them into a powder but I don't want them to be a powder so I'm just going to keep pounding away until they get a little bit smaller okay so the shea butter and cocoa butter have both melted um, I'm going to put in just a tablespoon of the rose petals and a teaspoon of poppy seeds and then I'm going to put in some rose essential oil this is organic oil and just for even more luxury frankincense it's fantastic for mature skins and really moisturizing and um, nourishing just give that all a little gentle stir and now I'm going to pour it into the molds you don't want a giant bar because your bath would become too slippy this is just enough to give that hint of luxury and nourishment for the skin so that's what I think every gardener needs when you're out in the cold windy weather um, you need that little touch of luxury and self-care is so important so you're looking after yourself looking after your skin is not an indulgence it's a necessity really because it helps a lot with mental well-being as well so to do something like this is not selfish or indulgent it's it's um it's just ordinary natural self-care and we're using a lot of the gifts from mother nature because we've got we've got vegetable oil here uh, sorry we've got plant oils we've got rose petals we've got frankincense we've got poppy seeds everything has come from mother nature and not a chemical to be found so you know that you're going to really benefit from from these and there it is a just reward for hard-working gardeners and for people everywhere Right, so I'm off to make some soap now. I've got a new recipe I want to try out. And then I found some old fabric. I'm going to repurpose it into a brand new lovely apron for the Hawthorne Academy of Healing Herbs. And um, I think I'll be busy till bedtime. So I'd better go and get started. And I hope you're all well. I hope you have a lovely week ahead. Please, if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell. And... Um, leave a comment i love to hear people's comments i feel as if it's a way of making new friends and i really appreciate all the comments we get so thanks a million and see you next time bye